Hello everyone, this is Minister William, or Reverend Will if you wish, and this is the sermon for May 28th, 2023, and as always, we'll start with a moment of silence, for prayer, meditation, or what have you. All right, thank you. This week's sermon will be called The Power of Silence, and it can be found on alltimeshortstories.com. Once a farmer lost his precious, uh, once a farmer lost his precious watch while working in the, his barn. It may have appeared to have been an ordinary watch, to others, but held a deep sentimental value. After searching high and low among the hay for a long time, the old farmer got exhausted. However, the tired farmer did not want to give up the search for his watch and requested a group of children playing outside the barn to help. He promised an attractive reward for the person who could find his beloved watch. After hearing about the reward, the children hurried inside the barn and went around the entire stack of hay to find the watch. After a long time of looking for the watch in the hay, some of the children got tired and gave up. A number of children looking for the watch slowly decreased, and only a few tired children were left. The farmer gave up all his hope of finding his watch and called off the search. When the farmer was closing the door, a little boy came, out, came up to him and requested the farmer give him another chance. The farmer did not want to miss any chance of finding the watch, so he gave the little boy he let the little boy in the barn. After a while the little boy came out with the watch in hand. The farmer was happily surprised and asked how the boy succeeded in getting the watch while everyone else, including him, had failed. The boy replied I just sat there trying to listen for the watch's ticking. In silence, it's much easier to listen to it and direct the search toward the sound. The farmer was delighted to get the watch and rewarded the little boy as promised. The quieter you become, the more you can hear. A peaceful mind can think better than a worked up mind. So once in a little while, once in a while, allow a few moments of silence to your mind. Sometimes you all, all you need to do is relax and listen. <sighs> this is something that uh, I've been trying to do as of late. Um, lately, it has been a very stressful uh, month or two where I have actually been missing my days of unemployment. I enjoy my jobs, and I don't want to lose my jobs or quit my jobs. It's just I need some time of peace, quiet, and stuff like that. It... Sometimes, all we need is calm and quiet to find what we're looking for and clear, be able to clear our minds, reduce the stress in our lives. Once so we can do that, we can focus, we can think, and we can make our life and others better. So when you're stressed, try to find a silent place 
a place that makes you feel relaxed. Sit in the quietness. Let your mind calm. Just focus on everything quiet around you. You'll find peace, quiet, and calm the storm in your head. You'll find anything that you've been looking for that's been stressing you out. But until next time, remember, when we all come together, the possibilities are endless. I'll see you next week. Thank you, everyone. Oh, one thing. Since uh, next month is Pride Month, I will be wearing my new stole. I think that's what it's called. It, it is uh, one that is uh, specifically for Pride Month. With every color of the rainbow. So I will start uh, my next starting on my next sermon for all the month of June, I will be wearing uh, this stole. I'll return to my blue one afterwards. But until then, remember, we all come together. The possibility is endless. And I'll see you next week.